Hey art friends, in this lesson, we're gonna learn how to draw a kid in a raincoat jumping into a puddle. I hope you're gonna follow along with me. Let's get started. I'm using a marker to draw with and also marker paper to draw on, but you can use whatever you have, like a pencil or even crayons. Let's first start by drawing our kid. We're gonna draw his mouth or her mouth right here in the middle of our paper. I'm first gonna draw a smile and then we're gonna turn it into an open mouth. Our kid is having a lot of fun jumping into <laughs> into a puddle. And we're gonna draw the teeth up here at the top and also a tongue down at the bottom. And then we can also color in the inside of the mouth or the center shape. Then let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle over here for the left eye and same size circle for the right eye. Then we can draw our favorite highlights, a smaller circle on the top left of each eye. This makes the eyes look shiny. Then we're gonna color in that big circle but leave the little circle white. That part I sped up, so remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Now let's draw our kid's head or face. We're gonna draw a U shape that goes underneath the mouth for the chin and back up on the other side for the cheeks. Now we're gonna draw the hood for our rain jacket. We're gonna start here at the bottom or below the chin. We can even add a guide point. Then we're gonna draw a shape that comes out by the cheek. We're gonna come around and then we're gonna come up over the head, back down and really close to the cheeks also. And then we're gonna come back to that guide point in the middle. Okay, now let's draw the hair. We're gonna draw a curve that comes here on both sides. And then we're gonna draw a zigzag line from the left side. And we can come up like this if we want to the top of the hood and then we can draw more curves coming down. Now I'm drawing straight hair. You could also change your hair to be curly or you could even draw it longer. There we go. Now we can also draw the ears. I'm gonna draw a curve here on the side and also a curve down at the bottom. Since it's going behind the hood, we're only drawing part of it. And we can draw the ear on the other side too. Let's color in above the ears and also below the ears underneath the chin. Next we can draw the rest of the rain jacket's hood. We're going to start right here again and we're going to draw coming really close to the first line that we drew but then we're going to get further away towards the top and then we're going to come back down on the other side and try to match and we can come in. We could also leave a little space in between those two. Now let's draw the rest of the rain jacket coming down from the chin. So we're gonna draw two lines on each side. And then we can also draw a line to connect those together. Next, we could draw a line straight down the middle. This is where the rain jacket closes. We could also add pockets. I'm gonna draw a square here on the left and also over here on the right. Then we can draw another line right through the middle on each side. Next, let's draw our kids' legs and feet. I'm gonna draw the letter U over here on the left and also matching on the right. And we could draw the boots too. I'm gonna to draw a line right here and we're gonna keep the legs and feet simple just by drawing those shapes. Okay, now let's draw the arms and hands. We're gonna draw the sleeve right here. We're gonna draw a letter L kind of a sideways letter L, and we'll match that same shape on the right side. And then we can draw the hands coming out right next to the head. Now let's draw the puddle, and we can also draw the splash. So I'm gonna draw a wiggly line that comes out from the boots, and we can draw that same kind of wiggly line over here on the other side. We could also draw a wiggly line in between the two legs. And then let's draw the puddle. We're gonna draw an oval shape, it comes out, around, and then come back in on the other side. We could also draw more puddles or little shapes for smaller puddles. And let's also add raindrops. We could draw big raindrops coming down from the sky. Remember to pause the video if I'm going too fast or if you wanna take extra time to add more things, you could add an entire background if you want. We could also draw water 
drop splashing out of the puddle. We did it, we finished drawing our kid jumping into a puddle, except we still need to color it. This part will fast forward, but at the end, if you want, you can pause the video to match my same coloring, or you can color your drawings any way you want. All right, let's speed things up. We did it, we finished adding color to our drawings. You can pause the video right now to match my same coloring or change the colors any way you want. You can change the color of the jacket, even the skin tone of your kid. You could also make your drawing look more like yourself. You could change the hair to match yours and also the skin tone. I used markers to color with, but you could use whatever you have, like crayons or colored pencils. You don't have to use the same thing as me. I hope you had a lot of fun following along with me. Remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than mine. The most important thing is to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye.